Hello everybody, I am back and I am starting a new project. Um, I'm going to do some fire file folder journals. And so this was my first experimentation. Um, I'm gonna do one with the hanging file folders. And what this is are two hanging file folders. So normally they would be situated like that. And I've cut them down to nine inches see um, uh, how do I show you nine inches on this uh, six zero I guess I can't really because my nines are on the bottoms and I don't can't you can't see that but in any case this is nine inches so here we go one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine. And I have folded, I'm sorry, what did I cut down? This is what I cut down to be nine inches. In, e in either case, it's actually a nine by nine square. Um, and I have folded the, the, you know how there are these score lines on the bottom of hanging file folders so that it's this is the center line. It's two marks out from the center line on each side. Turns out that each of these spaces is a half an inch. So it's a one inch spine. And I have removed the hanging metal bits and I have glued down the edges. And I've done that for two folders, two folders. So this is nine inches high. I haven't changed the, um, the width at all this is the the width is the um just whatever the hanging file folder comes in and the height is nine inches with a one inch spine and i've done that for two i've also put some tyvek some recycled postal service bags are made out of tyvek and i've reinforced them because i've recently had some um journal trauma where the paper that I used um, didn't hold up. And I will I will repair that and I'm gonna show you on video. So I'm reinforcing this, I'm learning from my mistakes. And I've reinforced it with Tyvek. I've also gone ahead and covered the outer one with some thin muslin. Um, and I have glued it down just with my glue stick, my Scotch Create Permanent Multi-Purpose Photo Safe 3M glue stick. Um, yeah, it worked really well. I, I, I'm really trying to avoid using the glue sticks because there's so much plastic involved, but it really is the best. It, you can glue the fabric to the paper securely and it doesn't bleed through and leave marks, which I really appreciate. And then I went around and I sewed a zigzag stitch with my Gutenberg um, green variegated thread in a zigzag. And so my plan is to use these as a way of using up some of the paper packs that I have accumulated. Um, and I'm going to use them up. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue these two together. I don't think I'm going to cover the insides with fabric. I think I'm going to cover these with the paper pads. So the, the, these will wind up getting stiffer. And then I'm gonna do a Midori style elastic down the center and a simple kind of a naked journal in the center because I plan to do pockets and things on these sides uh, for tags so that the person who buys this can then take all of the ephemera that's included on the these pages and insert them into the journal as they wish. So that is my my concept at the moment. It may completely change, who knows? But this is what we're doing. So I'm just gonna glue this down and then I will show you what I'm doing for the next file folder. So I'm just gonna glue, and I think I'll probably for this one, for closure, I will probably put eyelets through the edges, these reinforced edges, and just do some sari silk. But I haven't entirely decided yet. So I'm gonna wait, wait on, see, I'm gonna see how, 
how sticky outy it is. I don't think it will be too, I think this will be fairly tidy edged one, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I considered putting it, it Tyvek side to Tyvek side, but I don't know how that will work. So I'm gonna do it Tyvek to paper. And I'm just going to do my best to line that up. Oops. Get on that side. And it looks good on this side as well. It seems to be sitting well. I want to get that weight right in there. Um, I think maybe paper clips for this to hold it down while it dries. Right along the edges there. I like that. I like that. I'm happy with that. Okay. And then the, the fringe on the edge, um, even if it frays significantly more, it will still cover that, those whatever unevenness is in there. And I think it will be fine. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to show you the other one that I've done. So this is two not hanging file folders, just regular file folders. Hi, Kenai. The dog just came in to check on me. He's gonna join me on the couch. Okay, so this is two regular file folders. I chose one that had a, a tab at the bottom and one, this was actually a middle tab and I cut three inches off the top so that these would be nine inches, right? I cut, oh, not quite one, two and a half, two and three quarters inches off the top because what I really wanted was I wanted these to also be nine inches tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are nine inches. So whatever, I, this was to make the full file folder. That's what I cut off. So it's about not quite three inches off the top there. So then I did the same thing. I folded these to be an inch wide spine and an inch wide spine on this one. And then I decided I wanted them to go in like this. And I'm going to keep those those tabs as tabs. I don't think I'm gonna cover this one in fabric now that I'm thinking about it because I think it'll look odd having this in fabric and these not. Um, so what I will probably do instead I, is I will, I need to reinforce the inner one with Tyvek and then I'll have some fabric over the spine of this one, just the spine, and then I will do some kind of a topper for this. Because this isn't terribly sturdy. So if that's gonna be the front cover, I'm gonna put the front cover aside for a moment. And I'm going to reinforce this with Tyvek. I'm just thinking, maybe I 
do want to read, oh, that's a Staples. Well, I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to reinforce the back of this one with Tyvek. This is a nicer looking side though, isn't it? That's okay. It's going to get covered up. It's going to get covered up with stuff. So I'm going to reinforce this one with a strip. This is a two inch strip of Tyvek that I caught off of the, uh, I, an old mailer and I'm just cutting it to the right height. So that will go like that. And I will glue that one down because I just don't want to run any chance of um, the, the opening and closing of the pages to lead to fatigue and tearing, which is my, my journal trauma that I will show you in another video. Good smoosh. I want to get it out to all the edges. And again, it doesn't really matter if this is perfect because it will wind up getting covered up. Okay, so that is that one. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. This is going to be my front cover and I'm going to put a strip of muslin. And this should already be pretty much the right height. Um, I'm just going to glue down a strip of muslin and I'm just thinking about order. Do I want to put down the cover pieces first? and then cover everything with muslin? Or do I want to cover it with muslin and then lay it down over it? It doesn't make a huge difference. I want it to be secure first. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the muslin first because it's mostly about reinforcement at this point. Let's see how, what do I want this to be? three inches and have an inch on either. Yeah, I'll do three inches and it'll have a, a full inch on either side. And I may wind up sewing this. Uh, I wind up sewing. Um, I think I probably should sew it. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put glue on the spine. And then I'm going to glue this. Let me line it up. I love having a mat with um, numbers, measurements on it. I really, it just makes everything so much easier. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to glue this to the spine right now, maybe a little bit on either side. 
and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna glue it all the way down and I'm gonna leave the sewing to later because then I can decide whether I want to stick stuff underneath or over the top and I'll be better able to decide that when I have my papers out. So I'm just protecting the folds at this point, reinforcing the folds with the muslin. Ha, happy with that. Okay, so now, Believe this. Will fit right in here. And that is how I plan to have it. So that, oh no, that's not how I plan to have it, is it? Do I want it like that? Or did I want it? make a difference like this no definitely not like that like this yes because I wanted the longest bit And then there'll be a journal in here and the journal, if I make the journal come to this length here, in between this one and this one, I know it's hard to see, but so there's a tab there. There is a tab here and a tab here and here. So if I make the journal come to this part here and maybe have a tab, a couple of tabs, then it'll almost look like a waterfall going out. Yeah, because I could have a tab on the front and a tab on the back and it'll all be like staggery. I like that very much. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there and figure out what my next steps are because I haven't really thought past this that much and I will make a playlist. This will be my um, file folder journal playlist and I hope you have a great day and a great week and I hope you stay safe. Bye-bye.